Think you know everything about mid-size SUVs? Think again. Ever wondered which SUV combines practicality with style, power with efficiency, and all that without breaking the bank? Welcome to the world of the 2025 Kia Sorento. This beauty offers three rows of seating and a sleek design, and comes packed with features that will blow your mind. Whether you're after the base model or the rugged X-Pro trim, the Sorento has something for everyone. So, buckle up and get ready to explore all the reasons why the 2025 Sorento might just be your next SUV. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more exciting car reviews and updates. These days, mid-size SUV options are abundant in Kia showrooms. You'll find the three-row Telluride in the electric EV9. Now, the 2025 Sorento joins the party. This SUV boasts three rows of seats, a practical interior, and a stylish exterior. The standard model comes with a non-turbo four-cylinder engine and front-wheel drive. If you need more power, an optional 281-horsepower turbocharged four-cylinder is available, along with all-wheel drive. The rugged X-Pro trim offers enhanced off-road capabilities for those who love adventure. Kia also offers two hybrid options, including a plug-in hybrid that provides up to 32 miles of electric driving per charge. Even the base models are packed with features, making them a great deal for budget-conscious buyers. You get wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, various driver assist features, and many other conveniences as standard. While the Sorento earns high remarks, it's worth noting that its third row isn't as roomy as the Telluride's. Additionally, its cargo and towing capacities fall short compared to its larger siblings. But if you're seeking a midsize SUV with a third row for occasional use, the Sorento could be just what you need. The 2025 Sorento Hybrid and plug-in hybrid models get a fresh look and interior upgrades, borrowing from the 2024 non-hybrid version. The non-hybrid Sorento remains unchanged. Kia knows that part of Telluride's massive success comes from its sleek design. So, for 2025, the Sorento Hybrid adopts many styling cues, like the amber daytime running lights and vertically-oriented tail lights. The front of the hood has that same squared-off edge seen on the Telluride. Inside, you can opt for two 12.3-inch displays that merge into a panoramic panel for the infotainment system and instrument cluster. One notable update for those focusing on fuel efficiency, the EPA has reduced the front-wheel drive Sorento Hybrid's rating by 1 miles per gallon, bringing it to a still impressive 36 miles per gallon. The SUV market is crowded, but few offer a third row in a compact package like the Sorento. Check out the Mitsubishi Outlander and Outlander plug-in hybrid if you need that setup. They're even smaller than the Sorento, but still fit a third row. If you're open to different sizes, look at the Toyota Highlander Hybrid for a bigger option, or the Toyota RAV4 Hybrid and Honda CR-V Hybrid for smaller choices. The Sorento has two traditional combustion engines and a plug-in hybrid variant, giving you plenty of flexibility. The 2025 Kia Sorento's price starts around $34,000 and can reach up to $47,000, depending on the trim and options you choose. Our pick? The EX Trim. It's more expensive than the base model. Still, it comes loaded with great features like faux leather seats, heated front seats, parking sensors, and a larger 12.3-inch infotainment display. The 2025 Sorento Hybrid is a three-row compact SUV that sits up to six passengers thanks to its second-row captain's chairs. Both versions in EX and SX Prestige trims feature a turbocharged 1.6-liter four-cylinder engine combined with hybrid components and a six-speed automatic transmission, delivering 227 horsepower. The EX model comes standard with front-wheel drive but offers an optional all-wheel drive, while the SX Prestige comes standard with all-wheel drive. The Sorento gives you two engine options and the choice between front or all-wheel drive. The base engine is a 191-horsepower 2.5-liter inline-4, but if you want more power, a 281-horsepower turbocharged 2.5-liter 4-cylinder is available. 
Both engines pair with an 8-speed automatic transmission, while the hybrid model uses a 6-speed automatic. Driving the top-of-the-line SX trim with the Turbo 4 was a treat. It had an impressive thrust, but we wished for more responsiveness initially. This model was also impressed with its balanced handling, smooth ride, and solid brake pedal feedback. The X-Pro trim, which only comes with a turbocharged engine, includes a center-locking differential, 17-inch wheels, and all-terrain tires. We haven't tested the facelifted Sorento yet, but based on previous models, we expect similar performance. The most powerful turbocharged trims should hit 60 miles per hour in about 6 seconds, while the non-turbo versions might take up to 9.6 seconds to reach the same speed. The Kia Sorento may not be a beast of burden, but its towing capacity can come in handy. In its X-Pro trim, the Sorento can tow up to 4,000 pounds. While it doesn't quite match the 5,000-pound tow rating of the V6-powered Kia Telluride, it's still capable of hauling a couple of jet skis or even a small livestock trailer, depending on your needs. According to the EPA, the Sorento's base 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine achieves up to 23 miles per gallon in the city and 31 miles per gallon on the highway. If you opt for the more powerful turbocharged 2.5-liter engine, you'll see slightly lower numbers – 20 miles per gallon in the city and 29 miles per gallon in the highway. We haven't had the chance to test the Sorento on our 25-mile-per-hour highway fuel economy route yet, but we'll update you with real-world results once we do. The Sorento's interior boasts an attractive layout, quality materials, and a solid build. The dashboard features two upright air vents, making the design simple. Ambient lighting adds a touch of elegance, while stitched surfaces on the door panels and seat inserts give it a more upscale look. Plenty of cubby storage and cup holders make it perfect for families. It comes standard with a third row, and you can opt for captain's chairs in the second row instead of a bench. However, compared to the larger Telluride, the Sorento's third row seats aren't as comfortable for adults. Plus, with the third row up, we could only fit two carry-on suitcases in the cargo area, two less than what the Telluride can handle. The Sorento features a sleek infotainment setup with two screens side-by-side -side in a curved panoramic display. Standard models come with a 4.3-inch digital gauge display and a 12.3-inch touchscreen. Higher-end trims upgrade to a larger 12.3-inch reconfigurable gauge display. You'll enjoy wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto across all trims. Other cool features include an optional wireless charging pad, a 12-speaker Bose stereo system, and a rear seat entertainment system. Now that you've got the scoop on the 2025 Kia Sorento, we want to hear from you. What do you think about its features, design, and performance? Drop your thoughts and comments down below. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.